Hello, so in our previous tutorials, I have already shown you the theoretical and conceptual scenario of TCP or transmission control protocol. So now I'm going to demonstrate this whole protocol in Cisco Packet Tracer simulation software. Okay, so uh, let's continue. So at first, I want to uh, browse something from PC1. The PC1 is actually the user here. Okay, so I'm going to browse something from PC1. I'm going to browse www.backu.sc.bd and this PC is going to communicate with this browser over here, local web server. Sorry, this server over here, local web server. Okay, so let's continue. So I'm going to go into my PC and I'm going to go into my browser and I'm going to write www.backu.sc.bd and I'm going to hit enter. So then uh, if I go through my simulation, I'll see that the first uh, thing, the first uh, step is running and we can see that a packet is being sent from PC1 to the uh, server. Okay, so uh, let's check the information residing upon that, uh, residing inside that packet. Okay, so inbound PDO details, we go into inbound PDO details and we can see that the sequence number is zero here and the acknowledgement number is also zero here. All right, so okay, so uh, uh, you can see that the uh, sequence number uh, is zero and the acknowledge number is zero here, and I have already explained the reason behind that in my previous tutorial. So if you don't understand why the sequence number is zero or, or, or why the acknowledge number is zero here, you should go back to my previous tutorials and uh, learn them first, and then come back again to this tutorial. All right? So I'm not going to explain them again in this tutorial because that will be just uh, uh, a longer video I should say so I'm not gonna be into the, all those details okay so uh, let's move on so uh, if I continue my simulation and I'll see that another uh, in this step uh, the uh, packet is going from server to the user okay the packet is going from server to the user and I can also check the information residing in that communication so you can see right there that the sequence number is zero here and acknowledge number is one. So this is basically uh, this very uh, first phase. Okay, this very first phase, the first phase, the second step. So uh, sequence number zero and acknowledge number is one. Okay, sequence number zero and acknowledge number is one. So let's continue. So now, uh, uh, okay. So I, I want to show you another thing. So if I just uh, move back a bit. And I show you this communication, the very first communication basically from PC to server. In this communication, you can see that the flag information is also mentioned here. So the flags right here are actually shown as uh, binary bits. Okay, so how do they actually work? I have explained them using uh, textual language like synchronization, SYN flag, or SYN, uh, sorry, SYN and um, acknowledgement flag, and etc. Okay. So how uh, do they actually work? How do the binary numbers actually represent these flags? So if you want to understand that, you need to take a look at this picture over here. Okay. So this picture indicates six different flags that we are going to be seeing here. And all of those flags are represented using a pattern of binary bits. So basically, there are six bits of binary. And for each specific flag, uh, one of those bits is actually one. So, for example, in this case, um, there are six bits, zero, uh, okay, starting from here. So, zero, 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 one, zero, okay. So, these are the six bits that we're going to be considering. So, among those six bits, we can see that the uh, second rightmost bit is actually one. So, let's check the uh, binary pattern here. And you can see that among those six bits, if the second rightmost bit is one, then it is indicating uh, the scene flag, okay, the SYN or synchronization flag, okay, so that's supposed to happen because in our example, we also uh, saw that in our very first step, the synchronization flag was only working, only synchronization flag was working, okay, so that's why you can see right here that from this binary pattern, we're getting only synchronization flag as the working flag and just uh, if we just move on to our next uh, step then we can also see that right here there are two different flags working so one uh, at the second position from the left and one at the fifth position from the left okay so if we uh, check them out in our binary pattern we'll see that these flags are actually 
acknowledgement flag and synchronization flag so just like we mentioned in our uh, theoretical uh, tutorial that uh, the synchronization and acknowledgement flag will be working at this step and we can actually see the uh, representation with binary bits in our simulation software just like that okay so let's move on so now the next step is taking place and you can see that at this step uh, the HTTP part is actually uh, actually begin from this face right here okay so whenever the HTTP part is uh, beginning it means that now it is the time for data transfer so now is the time for data transfer phase okay so basically you can say the data transfer has already begun so you might ask me a question that uh, you showed another step in the uh, connection establishment phase in your tutorial so where did this step go so where is this step so basically I also said that this step will be uh, continued in the next phase two so the, the very first step of the data transfer phase is actually the continuation of the very last step of connection establishment phase so basically uh, in our simulation software those steps are actually combined together and they are not shown uh, individually okay so that's why you can see that the data transfer phase has already begun and if you uh, if we just want to see the information residing inside that packet we'll be seeing a similar information something like that okay something like this one so uh, let's check them out so the sequence number is one and action number is one so just like this one and we are actually seeing that two different flags are working one is push flag and another one is acknowledgement flag okay so let's check it out all right so uh, you can see the flag information here indicates that only uh, the acknowledgement flag is working okay so only the acknowledgement flag is working it is indicating like that okay so uh, so let me show you what this step actually is so we did show this step in our uh, tutorial too so this is the step that is being shown over there okay so only acknowledgement flag is working so if we actually want to see uh, those flags working we need to go to a different packet we need to move on to the HTTP packet from the TCP packet so if we go to the HTTP packet and then we go to the TCP section of that HTTP packet because TCP is, uh, is the underlying connection for the HTTP protocol alert so there will always be some TCP segment for the uh, HTTP packet so if we go into the TCP segment of this HTTP packet and we can see that the flag information looks like this right now 011000 so that means basically uh, currently mm, the acknowledgement flag and the push flag our uh, push flag are currently working okay so this is what I mentioned in my tutorial so push and acknowledgement flag are working so we can actually uh, see it right here okay so let's move on let's continue our simulation all right so you can see right here that whenever I just uh, step or oh, I just go one step forward then uh, in each of those steps we can see that one HTTP packet and another TCP packet is being created that's because the TCP is always working simultaneously with HTTP as the underlying connection okay so uh, let's move on so now the response part is happening so uh, let's just check one of those packets so this HTTP packet maybe and if I go into the TCP section I can see right here that the sequence number is 1 and acknowledgement number is 105 so just like our tutorial sequence number is 1 and acknowledgement number is 105 and okay and the flags uh, actually seem like that the push flag and the acknowledgement flag the push flag and the acknowledgement flag 0 1 1 right so the second position is on and the third position is on too that means the push flag and the acknowledgement flags uh, are working currently okay so that's what I explained in my tutorial to the push and acknowledgement flag are working so this is basically uh, the data transfer phase uh, in case of TCP and this is same as my previous tutorials example okay so I just uh, mentioned all of those things uh, in details using these theoretical examples so now we are just uh, simulating this same example in Cisco packet tracer okay so right now we can see a tick sign over here so basically this is a uh, this is an uh, this is a HTTP packet and the HTTP packet 
shows that the data transfer phase is actually done now so now we are going to move into the very last phase and the last phase is known as connection termination i have already uh, come into this step so right now my next step would be to go to connection termination phase so let's continue so now you can see that right now only tcp is working again okay so only tcp is working so uh, the if, uh, if we take a look at one of those TCP packets, so let me show you the information. So you can see right here, the sequence number is 105 and the acknowledgement number is 254. Alright, so uh, if I go into my uh, slide here, and you can see right here, the sequence number is 105 and the acknowledgement number is 254. Okay, uh, I have already shown them in my previous tutorial too. So this is just same as the thing we are seeing here. And if we take a look at the flag, so the flag... Uh, the flag bits indicate that the second position from the left and the rightmost position are actually on now that means uh, basically okay that means the second position actually uh, indicates the acknowledgement flag and the last bit uh, is one two so that means it indicates finish flag okay so right now the finish flags and the acknowledgement flags are on so uh, that's what I actually explained in my tutorial too. The finish flag and that function flag are actually active here. Okay. So uh, let me move on again. And uh, you can verify actually another thing that the sequence number is 105 and that function number is 254. So uh, uh, basically the function number 254 happened uh, here because uh, in our previous step, 253 bytes of data were sent from uh, server to user okay so this is even though this is not explicitly mentioned anywhere all right but still we can actually just calculate it okay so that's why i did calculate it and i wrote the values right here uh, i wrote this uh, i wrote 104 words uh, at this step uh, by following the same procedure all right so uh, let's move on we're currently at the very first step of the termination phase okay so you can see that we have already got the data here because we have already completed uh, the HTTP part. So whenever we complete the HTTP part, we should be getting the data. So we have already got the data, but now we, uh, we still have some tasks to do. We need to close the connection because if the connection stays open for a long, long time, then uh, it might be vulnerable to external attacks. Okay, so we need to close the connection. So now is the time for connection termination. The first step has already been shown. So let's move on to the second step. Okay, so this is the response going from server to uh, the user. Okay, so this that means basically uh, this is the step uh, that is being demonstrated right now. So in this step, you can see that the sequence number is 254 and the acknowledgement number is 106 and finish and acknowledgement flags are working. So let's see whether our information is actually correct or not. Okay, so. Uh, if we take a look at this TCP flag, sorry, at, the, at, at, at this TCP packet, then in the inbound PDU details, you can see that the sequence number and acknowledgement number actually match with the uh, example I demonstrated in my previous tutorial. Okay, so uh, and I have also demonstrated that finish and acknowledgement flags uh, were working at that moment. Uh, let me just verify it, and you can see right here that based upon the information given here we can see that finish and acknowledgement flags are working okay so still now everything matches so let's move on to the next step so right now only one step is left the very last step of connection termination the termination procedure uh, is actually almost finished now so let's just continue the very last step of connection termination and let me show you the details of this packet so you can see sequence number 106, acknowledgement number is 254, just like our tutorial, 106 and acknowledgement number is 154. And uh, another thing is that the only flag working here is actually the acknowledgement flag, okay? Only the second position is one, so that means only thing, uh, only flag uh, working here is the acknowledgement flag, okay? So no other flag is working uh, at this step. And we did show that only acknowledgement flag works at the very last step of the connection termination phase. So our example, our theoretical example, which I demonstrated in my previous tutorials, uh, are basically uh, same as the simulation that we uh, that we have just seen uh, 
a few moments ago okay so this example right here is basically the uh, is basically demonstrating the scenario that is shown right here so this is the theoretical concept this is the theoretical uh, graphical example graphical scenario of how uh, tcp will take place and now in cisco packet tracer we just saw uh, we just saw how we can uh, demonstrate the tcp or transmission control protocol uh, in case of simulating a simulation all right so basically uh, if we could just understand the theoretical part we should have no problem understanding this part too because the, uh, all the values right here i have already shown you that all the values right here are actually same as the uh, values that i i did uh, i wrote here okay all the values i wrote here are actually same as the values that are uh, that have been shown in this simulation and you can also check another thing that there are three different steps here uh, for the very first phase only you can see all those consecutive uh, tcp packets so about like four five six seven eight yeah eight tcp packets consecutively so all of those tcp packets are basically indicating that very first step the very first phase of our tcp protocol the connection establishment phase and after that you can see that there are some http packets too so uh, whenever the http packets uh, were seen so it means that it was the time for data transfer okay so you can see that there are about like uh, seven http packets and some tcp packets alongside them too because tcp is underlying connection uh, uh, of http so basically uh, this step right here this step where my cursor is uh, moving right now so this step right here this indicates uh, the data transfer phase okay this indicates the data transfer phase and finally if you take a look after that data transfer phase is done then you can also see that there are uh, about like 10 tcp packets again so just like there were uh, eight consecutive tcp packets so right now we are also getting uh, consecutive tcp packets one by one all right so this is because this is actually indicating the termination phase so just like we saw in our uh, graphical example we can also see in our simulation example that the whole simulation is divided into three parts the first part uh, is for tcp uh, connection establishment the second part is for uh, the data transfer part and the last and final part is for connection termination okay so this is how tcp works and uh, hopefully you have understood the theoretical part and also this simulation and uh, best of luck for future tutorials and thank you for listening to this video